It's my, my inner emotions. It's a way I can describe about life and everything that I do. I think that's why it makes me a chef. Those are the things that make me feel alive. It's the way that I feel in the kitchen. Welcome to Carlitos Cooking Adventures. I am Carlos Champ, I'm your chef and host. Here in Mexico, cooking, it's always an adventure. Why is cooking an adventure? Well, let me tell you. Living here in beautiful Baja, I live so close to the ocean, For me to be able to go in the ocean, go free diving, catch red snapper, clams, oysters, octopus, and being able to bring all those beautiful things back to my restaurant. This is a presentation of my, with octopus. Try some of this uh, beautiful dorado. Let me tell you, it's always an adventure. We're hooked up to a stripe, Marlin. We got great quality vegetables, mostly organic. If you're visiting La Paz, you gotta make sure you stop here with Gilberto. Not only I'm gonna have a plate of clams, but also I'm gonna take some of this to go to my house. So for me to share with you how I can do beautiful dishes here in my restaurant, cook a little bit of this, little bit of that, and I can create beautiful dishes that are gonna blow you away. Mmm, nice beautiful fresh dorado. Oh, nice. Put it on the side. So, Colin, now that I have the fillet right here, I'm gonna cut it in three sections here. I prefer doing it this way because you're pretty much oh, ready to do sashimi. Beautiful. With meat. that, right? Yeah. I learned from a long time here in Mexico, we eat ceviche a lot. It's a very, very traditional dish. It's nutritious and you can make it anywhere. Like if you go to the beach and you already have your fish, you know, put the lime juice, the salt, the onions. Like right now, the onion will add a lot of flavor. Pepper, I don't want to make this too spicy. And you know what, the one thing that is so important when you're making ceviche, calling The freshness, so fresh. So for me, in my father's side, I'm Chinese. And from my mother's side, I'm Mexican. That combination of both worlds coming to the cuisine together, it has taught me so much. In my father's side, a lot of the culture from the Chinese cooking, growing our own vegetables as a little kid. Later in life, my mother's restaurants, all Mexican food. And growing up here in Mexico, it's brought a great passion for all of our Mexican cuisine. Oh. I love living here. Man, that Pacific Ocean, the Sea of Cortez, the abundance of seafood. I tell you, magical. I'm sorry if I'm making you hungry at home, but there's nothing I can do. All I can do, I have to eat this clam again. Mm. As a kid, I grew up in La Paz. I grew up probably about three to four blocks close to the ocean. I will go to the ocean with my brothers. In the Bay of La Paz, which is very calm, we will always catch crabs. We were able to catch a lot of clams. So I started having this fascination for the ocean since I was very young. I'll be able to get a little bit of a catch and bring it over to my house. And I always get my sister to cook a little bit or to share with my brothers what we brought from the ocean. So I think that definitely started the whole thing about becoming a chef later on in life. And I consider Carlitos, one of the most knowledgeable person in seafood that is around uh, Los Cabos. This kitchen's not beautiful till Carlos gets here. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. So one of the things that gets me really excited when I'm free diving and I go underwater, when I see the fish, I started thinking, 
how am I going to cook that fish? Right away, all these things come to my imagination. How am I going to take it to my kitchen? How am I going to prepare it? How do I want to cook this thing? Please, next time you catch a fresh Dorado, make some ceviche. Colin, enjoy, so brother. Good. Hey. Thank you, brother. For me to go to his place is spend the whole day there with him. We start with the beer, we end up with a bottle of tequila, you know, and uh, you never leave the place. All right. I'm so dedicated to cooking because it's what is a way to describe myself. It's my talent. It's like for me, I go in the kitchen, I grab a piece of fish, I look at vegetables, and it's the way for me to describe myself about how I'm feeling. It's my love. Liz, we got one. Now I got something to cook. I can't wait. Thank you everybody for watching Carlitos Cooking Adventures here from beautiful Baja California, Mexico. Take care until next time. There's fish here. Thank you for watching Carlitos Cooking Adventures.